So I ordered one of those tripods. And we are gonna do the unboxing together. Because I am curious. I also have a lot more unboxings to do. I figure, why don't I let you guys see my goodies? Would have ordered the pink, but eh. So we're gonna test this out together. You know, a girl deserves her own little toy once in a while. stand, a little charging cable, this is supposed to move with me, so I'm going to let this little guy charge, see it takes that kind of cable, cool. I've already got this kind over here. The holder works as a human face tracking and doesn't work on animals or other moving objects. Guess my husband can't come in here. Okay. So my new toy is charging. Now, let's see what else came in the mail today. This is an order I placed with the supplier I found. Found him on the whatnot. I hate these bags. Are you guys able to see down in here? Let me move this down just a little bit and might be just a little bit closer. There. Yep, you can see me now. So what do we have in here? Got some more Clinique. Amber. Nude Glow. Amber. And this is foundation, I believe. Da, 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 da. I believe it's foundation. Light reflecting makeup, broad spectrum. I'm assuming that's foundation. This will be um, illuminating powder. Got another amber. I got a Bobbi Brown lip color. And this one is called Salmon. Salmon. And I got two Dr. Andrews Origins. Can you see that okay? I don't have my ring light set up over here. Got two of those. You gotta love it when you buy stuff off an auction. Estee Lauder Double Wear, and this is Bone. I got a MAC Lipstick Lady Danger. Bobby Brown. Susan Nude, Susan Nude, and this is Estee Lauder 550 Mind Game, 
550 mind game 550 mind game yes all these will be going on to my store just kind of letting you see I honestly forgot everything that I bought that's pathetic got Tom Ford Oat Wood. That is some really good smelling cologne. The things for a big bottle is close to 600. Got some more Oat Wood. Got some MAC Extra Dimension Skin Care Double Gleam. Another double gleam and another double gleam and another Tom Ford. Let's get in that one. Let's get this one. Jackpot. I got Mac Powder Kiss. Stay curious. I got MAC Face and Body Sheer Foundation W8. From MAC Studios. I got MAC Shamelessly Bane. Yum yum. Shamelessly Bane. Shamelessly Bane. And stay curious. And all these are brand new, never used. Sweet Sakura. Five forty one Lenore by Estee Lauder. Five forty one Lenore. Some Bobby Brown Brow. Stay Lauder, 1W1 Bone, 
slide these up out of the way. I'm leaving them all here on the table because they're going to get listed today. So by the time you see this video, this stuff should be already on my store. We have the C5 by Mac. We've got Bobby Brown Salmon. Bobby Brown Salmon. show you the salmon. It's gorgeous. Look at that color. Is that not pretty? I might actually keep one of these. I do wear lipstick on occasion, but my problem is I don't wear it enough to use it up before it's to go bad. This is a little sampler of Estee Lauder Advanced Night Cream. I wanted to try that. Got MAC Double Gleam. Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. These are eye patches to put under your eye. Them things go for a pretty penny. I will tell you that. All right. Let's see what's in the shoe box. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Studio Fix Perfect Powder from MAC and Light Perfect Powder. And I remember this, basically just one of these will pay for all of them. And using painter's tape, is actually safe on these makeup boxes because it doesn't tear it up. So if you're ever needing to label it, use painter's tape. But this is a whole bunch of NC30 MAC powder foundation. And I got all of these. Since this one popped open, let's go ahead and take a peek. Little rubbing on the outside, but brand new, never used. Oh yeah, and I think, yeah, you open it, there's your little sponge to put it on. Pretty neat, huh? That's pretty cool. And that's by Mac. And this is a whole bag of Estee Lauder. Ooh wee! My eyes. Oh, my magnifying glass is not quick to grab. Envy Mate number 
333 persuasive that's what it is look at that color persuasive so I get to find the SKU code for that one This is MAC lipstick. I have Stay Curious, Devoted to Chili, Maracash, Sweet Soraka, Sakara, Shamelessly Vain, Ruby Woo, Chili, and Sea Shear. Those are all those colors. And I got another one of these. It's Estee Lauder Renewative. Perfect timing for Christmas. I literally just listed my other one. <coughs> I got me another Renewative. They sell for around $60 a bottle. And I got Estee Lauder Micro Essence. Let me see what the going rate on this one is. Okay, you got some people listing it for around $75. And then I got some Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. I believe that's what this is without the box with the box. All right. Last box. My mind is drawing a blank. I can't remember what this one is. I'm not sure what I got that's big and square. You're at the auction, you never know. All right, this is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Matrix. So, uh, how big is that? Five ounces. This is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Valuam Valuam. I'll let you read that. But it's by Estee Lauder. You'd probably recognize the package like that. And I got four of these. So yep. I'm getting some stuff. My store is coming. What I like best is the stuff comes in and turns around and goes right back out. This is the first time I've been, I'll have Mac and Bobby Brown and Estee Lauder on my shop. So we'll see how quick of a turnaround it is. Right now, my number one turnaround product is nail polish. And I like it because I average a profit of almost $2 for the basic bottles. 
and I get them in bulk. So around 68 to 70 cents a bottle. Let's see. So I profit, I think a little over a dollar on each. So that's not too bad after you make away fees and all that. Of course, you got to sell a lot to make anything. But as long as I'm making 100% profit, I'm happy. You know, spend 200 on nail polish, get back about 400 plus. Turn around, buy another 200. Takes me to the Red Lobster. All right, let me pause this. Take me a coffee break. Okay, so I've got that thing hooked up. And if I was to walk over to my desk, it follows me. I come over here, talk about my foundations. It follows. Let's come around the corner. Right over here. Oh, it follows. Yeah. That is going to make talking to you guys so much easier. I love it. Uh, yes. But basically, I'm just kind of working in my office today. Let me close that door in case my bird starts hollering. Plus, got the washing machine going. You don't need to hear all that mess. Yeah, I like that. I need to check on stuff. My alert for orders have been going nuts. So, what did I sell on Amazon? I sold another of those Sally Hansen Insta Dries. So I walk right over here and I get it. says it doesn't go fast, but it looks like it's keeping up with me. I already know the weight and everything. But that's that mega strength. Insta shine. is late Saturday afternoon. Mailman's already been here. So I'm basically working these up to get ready to go out Monday morning. Because me and Monday mornings were always a slow go. And I just put it right down into a padded envelope. Seal it and stick it in my little mailbox here. My dad always comes in, bags up my mail, takes it down to my mailbox. So that one is done. Let me go to my next one. Have I heard you dinging? She bought my last bubble bath. That's my last OPI bubble bath. So that is gone, which I need to go over and remove it from my list perfectly. I would play some music for when I'm not talking, but who don't like my music and I apparently don't like their selection unless I just ain't found something I like I sold that for $9.99 and it's $3.75 to ship it and I paid about 70 cents for it so not too shabby
And then nail polishes, you always got to make sure they are any bag. That is the USPS policy. So always bag your nail polish. eBay. I'm sure hoping you can't see this stuff over here. This is for my personal information. I guess I'll look at it on the recording. Um, that is done. That is done. All my orders are caught up there. Now let's go to Walmart. Walmart had a couple. Walmart shipping? I don't like it. I'll be honest. I do not like Walmart shipping. All right, I need, sorry not sorry, number 48, Mega. Sorry not sorry. Isn't that a pretty color? It's number 48. That is a pretty color though. Can you see that okay? Put it in its little package. on the outside so I just take dab it clean that up a little bit clean that up a little bit and there she is shipping on Saturdays but I've been getting so many sales I prefer to stay on top of it and have a lot of work to do that's I use a padded envelope and it keeps it nice and secure okay so let's get some more orders pulled on eBay I am pulling 205 charcoal eyeliner and 822 mud combo. So 205 and 822. Let's hope I didn't go too fast. So this sold on eBay. It's CoverGirl in L'Oreal. Number eight. 22. And you always kind of want to just double check. Make sure it's looking clean enough. Because when you get them all bulked up in a box, they can get a little dirty. All I use is I put a little alcohol in here, rubbing alcohol, and I just take and not only does it sterilize it, but it'll clean it up as well so it doesn't look like it's been in storage. Nice and clean. And then I throw it into their shipping bag. Which I need to log into eBay. I think I'm do some free envelopes. Alright, so that's what sold on eBay since this morning, basically. Seems like all my shoppers are at night. 
So next, let me get Amazon out of the way. And I have sold two of those silver mega strengths for 143. Grab those. Two of these and a 143. This is in the nude, and these are those mega strengths 05. So that is making moves 156. I should have known that was it. Making moves. Look at that pretty color. Let's go get my little stack of envelopes. And I write their name on the envelope. She gets making moves. Custom. <coughs> oh well, I got an extra shipping label. Like I keep forgetting. Amazon always gives me that extra label with the codes. I don't need it. So. to you. That goes to you. And you. And you. And then, remember, it is the law to stick nail polishes in a baggie. When I get these little baggies off of eBay, you can choose your size. I was getting this size, but those bigger nail polishes will not fit in it. These are like perfect size for lipstick. But this, perfect size for nail polishes and even some of my eyeshadow palettes. So it works. Almost universal. Also, when you sell multi-quantity lipsticks, they all fit right down in there. Now I'm going to stick their labels on. Alright, got all their labels on. Throw them in my mailbox. Clean up my trash. And Amazon is done. Now with Walmart, it's kind of hard to read what you got because Walmart names are different than what your names on your inventory list is. And then this is where I cheat. I use pirate ship when um, there's things that's going to cost way too much through the program. Sometimes Amazon will try to charge you like over 10 bucks for a little four ounce item. It ain't happening. So I'll go to pirate ship. And use them to process the label but right now I'm kind of using them to cheat because when I come in here and I pull in the orders into pirate ship it not only lines them all up by like multi quantities like that Baba V purple nail polish if I sold five of them on Walmart they'll be scattered but on pirate ship it lines them all up. So first, I'm going to get my chocolate scent. I already know what that is. So I'm just about out of them. Actually, I do believe this is my last one. All I have left is a pink 42. So my dose of chocolate is gone. 
and that's also how you can keep an eye on your inventory. Double check it. Go to your products. You can do this on List Perfectly as well. You don't have to use Shopify. You can use do this on List Perfectly. I'm still getting everything set up, so I'm you know still using Shopify for my products. So Dose of Chocolate is out of stock. Speaking of List Perfectly, let me log in real quick. to see if I've updated that listing because I've already pulled everything in from Shopify. Okay, so that one has not been updated and it's still only registering Shopify so I ain't got to worry about ending the listing. <coughs> I will turn that into a draft later so let me go back over here and it also gives me their name. On Walmart, it doesn't give me the name, it gives me the order number. If I can spell their names correctly. But that was at L'Oreal Dose of Chocolate. And then next, I'm thinking is number 10, but I want to make sure it's one of my NYX foundations. Yep, number 10. I'm slowly running out of those bad boys. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm just saying I only have three in stock, so I might have a couple more of those. check because it'll usually say if it's connected. No, it's saying I only have three, so I need to update. One, two, three, four, five. I must have got some in and not updated. So I need to update that to five available. And that's when you're getting low on stock. Double check your quantities. You don't want to end up selling out. This goes to... I gotta remember not to call their names out. Sometimes I'm in here talking to myself and I'll call the names out. Gelato on my mind. Gelato on my mind. Go to the end of the row. Just so that OPI, the gorgeous blue. And that goes. her. I keep looking at the camera to make sure it's following me. I forgot to charge it last night. So I don't know how long of a charge it'll have. Alright, so I need one against the gray. have to order me some more envelopes. I'm running out fast. Oops, I think my battery died or I walked too fast. I must have walked too fast. Yep, I need to order some envelopes. I'm getting low. I've got enough here for uh, maybe three more days, so... Got 
that restocked. Alright, let me put this back. the gray and three bubbles. those left. That's that gorgeous purple. And then in the gray, is that pretty purple? So that's four more nail polishes out the door. So that went to you. And my granddaughter noticed I can write without watching. And she's been practicing. I got good at it because I can't spell. And so I can look here, call out the letters in my head, and then I'll be sitting here like, you know, I'll use my name for example, Tamara. I'll look, I'll write down, and I'll make it to T-A-M, and then I'll be like, what was next? And so I've actually, over the years, I've actually trained myself to write while I'm not looking. And I think I do pretty good. Because here, I'm going to write. And that's what I just wrote. Nice and straight. So, me being a very lousy speller, it kind of works out. All right. Grab me some baggies. And get to bagging. Now I'm going to jump over to Walmart. Double check. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And process my seven. But like I said, shipping on Walmart sucks. Um, I would just stick to pirate ship, but there was that big sale at Wholesale Ninja where I just got that humongous order, and I don't like my credit card getting too big. And so... I am purchasing my shipping through Amazon and through Walmart until I get that credit card paid down and then I'll go back to using Pirate Ship to do my shipping. It's, I get the same discount. There's not really anything different unless Walmart has that one sale going on. Every once in a while they'll do a UPS ground and it's actually cheaper than first class. Or as they call it now, ground advantage. And so, until I get that huge order paid off, I'm letting my shipping come out of my sales. But normally, I let my shipping come out of my credit card, and then I just pay it off when I get paid. All right. But... I'm liking it. Still setting up Poshmark and all that. And all these sales, this is the middle of Sunday. I'm putting 
putting the stuff in the package kind of off camera so I don't end up showing the customer's label. Because I don't think people would like their address blasted. But basically, all I'm doing is just stuffing the package, ripping off the little sticky, putting it together. Simple. And clean up my mess. Gotta love these little things. They're everywhere. That is my shipping. That's basically what I've sold on, well, let me finish this window. All of my California shoppers, we'll see another one just came in. Um, 493 Flushed Wander. Um, oh no, I have sold a few of them. So that one just sold while I was working up the shipping. Pretty cream color. I try not to work too much on Sundays, but me and Monday mornings, we don't really get along. I don't know what it is about a Monday. I think everybody does not like working on a Monday. But I generally don't get started till about noon. My mailman gets here at 10 a.m. So I told my dad, I'm gonna start processing my shipping in the evening because I'm usually not ready to go until after 10 a.m. And I did zoom into my computer, turns blurry, so I am not worried about you guys seeing what's on my screen. And then stick this bad boy in, peel off that label. Voila. Got another one face the dust. I'm wanting to see if List Perfectly is reading my Shopify sales. But that's still something I'm testing. As soon as I figure it all out, I'll fill y'all in. But I'm wanting to see, because Shopify is linked, so I'm wanting to see if it'll read. Because Shopify reads all of my eBay, Walmart, and Amazon sales. List perfectly is going to read, hopefully, my Whatnot Sales, Macari, and Poshmark, and then whatever other platform I manually put in there. So I'm wanting to see if the inventories will sync, and that way, List perfectly lets me know everything that I've got left. That's what I'm hoping for. But otherwise, I'll just have to deal with two inventory platforms and adjust the inventory on both. When I get down to just one-offs, that's when I'll probably end it on Shopify and just leave it on the Poshmark and Macari. But, and I will be 